Imagine not being around or using something that is made out of plastic for a day. Not possible. Versatile plastics inspire innovations that help make life better, healthier and safer every day. Plastics are used to make bicycle helmets, child safety seats and airbags in automobiles. They are in cell phones, televisions, computers and other electronic equipment that makes modern life possible. They are in roofs, walls, flooring and insulation that make homes and buildings energy efficient. And plastics in packaging help keep food safe and fresh. The Swiss appetite for plastic is therefore considerable. Each year Switzerland generates over 100 kilograms of plastic waste per capita more than three times as much as the European average. But only 25% of all its plastic waste is being recycled. Something has to change if we want our progeny to live at the same standards of living. We need to use our resources more sustainably or recycle them. Plastic recycling is the process of recovering scrap or waste plastic and reprocessing the material into useful products. Since the vast majority of plastic is non-biodegradable, recycling is a part of a global effort to reduce plastic in the waste stream, especially in the approximately 8 million tons of waste plastic that enter Earth's ocean every year. The plastic that can be recycled is being processed to so-called regranulate from which it is used in many different things. You can find recycled plastic in construction projects, packing items, landscaping and clothing materials. Meanwhile, in many different regions of Switzerland, mixed plastic collection bags are being sold. The consumer can now collect his plastic waste in these bags and is made to believe that the content of these bags will be fully recycled. This system is increasing in popularity as the people can now consume as much plastic as they want and they can get rid of it in good conscience, as they now recycle it all. The first and foremost benefit of recycling plastic is the conservation of petroleum, which is getting scarce globally. A large amount of petroleum is needed for making new plastic products, and around 40% of the petroleum consumption can be reduced by recycling old and discarded plastic. The benefits of recycling plastic include a reduction in the emission of greenhouse gases. In other words, greenhouse gases are emitted while burning petroleum and if the amount of petroleum used in making plastic is reduced through recycling, the emission of these gases will also decrease. Public pressure is the main reason for a steadily increasing plastic collection in Switzerland. Left-wing parties like the Greens are promoting it as well. More and more people are making use of plastic collection offers in the conviction of doing it for a good cause. But appearances are deceptive. According to Beobachter Umwelt, big companies are often advertising with high recycling percentages, while they are actually only shifting the plastic to foreign countries, where a maximum of 50% is being recycled. All remains are being burned since they cannot be separated or used properly. Concluding, it will be ecologically more effective to burn the plastic in nearby facilities while saving waste for long distance transports. Recycling of plastic does only make sense if an amount of 70% or more can be reused. Current study released in 2017, carried out by the University of Applied Science in Alpesville and an environmental consulting company named Carbotech also questions the purpose of plastic recycling. They analyze the relation between costs and the actual ecological benefit. According to them, recycling one ton of plastic costs three times more than just burning it in a waste incinerator. The process of recycling is very time consuming and requires expensive machinery and a lot of manual labor. Related to a single person, the low ecological benefit of recycling 15 kilograms of plastic is as low as relinquishing a single 30 minute car ride or a decent steak. The main reason for this absurdity is the composition of the plastic waste. High quality plastic, such as milk bottles, can mostly be recycled and are used in the industry again. The problem is that a high percentage of our plastic waste is low quality plastic, like foils. The low quality plastic can rarely be recycled and is often burned in cement factories as a substitution for fossil fuels. This creates only a very small ecological benefit compared to the regular burning in waste incinerators. The higher the percentage of low quality plastic is, the lower is the ecological benefit. In contrast, the cost benefit ratio of the recycling of pet bottles is three times higher than the other plastic waste and therefore economically and ecologically reasonable. It remains unclear what really happens to the collected mixed plastic, where it goes and whether it is actually profitable. But when looking at the consumers that are recycling, one can say that recycling mixed plastic is the grown-up version of squeezing our eyes shut, sticking our fingers in our ears and shouting la 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 la.